All right, No Filter MMA family, this is your boy BJ back with another video short, guys, of Amanda Nunez versus Felicia Spencer. Guys, I don't know what to say about, I mean, it's just, I feel like Felicia Spencer didn't show up. I just feel like she really didn't show up. Like, she just, she was, she was gunshot. She was scared. You know what I'm saying? But a complete dominance by Amanda Nunez. I mean, just picked Felicia, Felicia Spencer apart on the feet. Um, and... You know, and was and took Felicia Spencer down with ease. That's what really surprised me, guys. You know, I guess I'm gonna really have to start giving Amanda Nunez the credit that she deserves because to see her go in there and 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 do Felicia Spencer like that, you know, take Felicia Spencer down, dominate her on the ground. To me, that was very impressive. It was very very impressive. You know, the thing about Felicia Spencer, you know, as gritty and as much tenacity as Felicia Spencer has, you know, I mean, for one, she got beat up in this fight real bad. She got beat up in this fight real bad. But now everybody knows that ain't nobody knocking out Felicia Spencer. No, but you're not going to knock out Felicia Spencer. You're just going to have to beat her up. You know, but the thing about Felicia Spencer, you know, that really worries me, I feel like she to to be a a, a one hundred and forty five pound fighter, you know she just doesn't throw with a lot of power. Like I mean, look at significant strikes thirty six to one twenty. I mean, it just Felicia Spencer just she has literally no pop in her in her in her fist. She has no pop in her strikes, no pop in her punches. No one is going to respect Felicia Spencer on the feet. Nobody is going to respect that. It's going to respect the strikes coming from Felicia Spencer, guys. And when she throws a strike, she, like, turns her hand around. Like, she twists her arm into the strike, you know? And it's just weird how she throws it. And she's hitting you. She can. She's going <clears> to, <throat> like, for, I'm watching the replay now. Like, when she throws a straight jab, it turns like she turns and hits you with the the back part of her hand. She's not hitting you with her fist. Like she's she's turning and hitting you with the back part of her hand and with a jab instead of just going straight down the pipe. I'm no fighter. I'm no fighter. I'm no fighter. But I've I've <clears throat> been a fan of the UFC and MMA and Bellator and all that stuff. I've been watching long enough to see how to throw a jab. You know what I'm saying? And when you throw a jab right down the pipe, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to be feeding somebody a knuckle sandwich. And Felicia Spencer is not, she just don't have a, a lot of, I would love to see Felicia Spencer go to a camp that's really going to refine her striking. Like if Felicia Spencer can get that part down pat, if she can throw, like I just want to see Felicia get stronger and throw with some power and really land some punches because if she goes into these fights from here on out, you know what I'm saying? And like, okay, say for instance, she fights Norma Dumont. You know what I'm saying? Like Norma Dumont is throwing heavy power with her punches. Like Felicia Spencer is going to get beat up if she doesn't start getting respect on the feet. You know, I mean, she's got to start respecting. She's got to, her opponents have to start respecting her power. If her opponents are not respecting her striking, it's not going to be a good night for Felicia Spencer. I mean, you know, she wasn't able to land the elbow. She did land the head kick. She landed a few strikes in there. But it wasn't anything to really hurt Amanda Nunez. You know, it wasn't anything to say make Amanda Nunez go, whoa, okay, 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 okay. You know, and when you fight at 145 pounds and you fighting women like Amanda Nunez and, you know, people that can hit you, that, that like to strike and hit hard, you know, you have to be, you have to be answering with something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I just, I, it's just weird. And, and I felt like Felicia Spencer didn't, like, she just wasn't confident. You know, she just wasn't, she didn't have that killer instinct. You know what I'm saying? Tonight. She wasn't, and, and she went. She went after it. She tried to get the takedowns, but Amanda Nunez just reversing those takedowns, man, and just getting Felicia Spencer down to the floor with ease, with ease, with ease, with ease, with ease, guys. I mean, it was, it was, it was in probably the easiest title defense of Amanda Nunez's career. And other than the Rocky Pennington fight or the runner out, I mean, it was just, it was, it was a five rounder, but it was easy. You know, Amanda was never in trouble. 
um, Felicia Spencer never was in a dominant place. She was never in a dominant spot. And, and you know, <clears throat> the, the who is it going to take to beat Amanda? Listen, guys, it's not Valentina Shevchenko. I mean, it's 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 not Valentina. It's I mean, it's just not going to happen. You know, it's going to take somebody who's going to bring the fight to Amanda Nunes. It's going to take somebody that's really going to bring the fight to Amanda to catch Amanda slipping in some kind of position, guys. I'm telling you, you have a fighter like Amanda, you have to push them to their brink in order to come out with a victory. The only person that I see that could have done that was, uh, that could have done that again was Kat Zingano, guys. That's why I was so upset when they cut Kat Zingano, when her and the UFC parted ways. Who else is going to beat Amanda Nunes? Nobody is going to beat Amanda Nunes except for uh, Kat Zingano. That was the fight. That was the fight, guys. That was the fight. And that fight, we just watched that fight walk completely away. That fight is done. That fight is over. That fight, we'll probably never, ever see that fight again. But it's going to take somebody like Kat Zingaro to go in there and get the job done. I'm telling you guys, somebody who can, who can, somebody that's, I guess you're going to have to be really physically strong to take Amanda down because Felicia Spencer is very strong and she was not able to get Amanda Nunez down. I mean, she just wasn't. You know, it's just, it was a dominating performance by Amanda Nunez. I mean, congratulations to the champ champ. She defended the, she defended both bells. I mean, she successfully did it. And Felicia Spencer will go on to fight um, probably a newcomer or fight Norma Dumont. Um, Felicia Spencer versus Norma Dumont is a good fight. Um, You know, they'll probably bring Pam Sorensen in. Um, They'll probably bring some featherweights in. You know, that's what I'm looking forward to. So let's see what the UFC does, guys. But congratulations to the Lioness for a dominating victory over the Phenom. But, of course, once again, congratulations to Felicia Spencer for not giving up, for hanging in there, for for being tough, for still going for it, still fighting her ass off and trying to get that win. That's one thing you can't deny about Felicia Spencer. She is very fucking tough. All right, guys, this is your boy BJ back from No Field Chairman. May drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button, hit that dislike button if you haven't already. Hit the sub button, and I'm out.